All right, welcome back. We're done with music talk. Someone's like, thank God, fucking finally some good food. No, but I have more for you, though. It's not going to be pleasant. It's not going to be pleasant. So I made it, um, I made this. <laughs> it's terrible, I know. But I made it, so it's mine. And uh, what we're doing now is Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color Trash. It's bootlegs, shovelware, everything in between, and also some, some bonus garbage. So whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call it Game Boy Trash. The first game is something I played, I think, on the Switch. This is the Game Boy version of it. And boy, do I hate it. I hated it then. I'm going to hate it now. I know it. It's called An American Tale Fables Gold Rush. Now, I didn't play this exact game. I think I played um, a game similar to this, like in the same series. Let me lower this. Uh, yes, D Data Design Interactive or Conspiracy or whoever the fuck that was made this. Um, so this is a collection from Corvus and uh, also uh, JB Dash and vetted and edited down a bit by Nary. So thank you guys. Hey, Conspiracy Entertainment, the mark of quality. So not data design, but conspiracy. An American tale fight Fable's Gold Rush. I'm going in alphabetical order, so this just so happens to be... ...the first game. Um, this is louder than I want it to be. A lot of the Game Boy Advance, um, games sound really crusty. You're lucky if you get a Castlevania or a Mother 3. Are you Fable Mouskowitz? Yes, I am. Who are you? My name is Pierre, and I have a message to you from Wiley Burp. <laughs> from Wiley? What is my good friend up to now? I know he's in a lot of trouble. Here's the message. Wiley asked... Uh, Wiley asked that you'd read it right away. Dear friend Fievel... Uh, whatever. It's a dog. It needs help. And it's not Dr. Wowie. Hey, Mega Man. We don't know where they came from. Holy fuck. How much setup do we need? Cat Malone? It's a lot of lore. Oh. Oh, this is some... Wow, if you try to go left, the game stops you from going left. Yeah, this is super cursed. It, it really, 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 really sketch. Is it just my controller? Uh, I mean, my GBA. Now, the thing about the GBA is it was a very successful system and also has lots of shovelware. So much like the Wii, which is the shovelware capital of the world, along with the PS2, Oh yeah, that was a, a bind problem. The, the going left was a problem with the binding. Don't worry about it. It's fine. But yeah, the, the GBA has quite a few things that are terrible also. This is almost Wii level. Volume is down to 20% and it's still this loud. Is this better? Can can we exist with this volume? Can we coexist like this? Can you hear me? 
Also, this is the original idea for Cappy. Um, but yeah, it looks like they just took a bunch of frames of a 3D model and... ...turned it into a GBA sprite. right amount of volume. So, there are people that actually remember this series and liked it. But, this is the kind of stuff that you'd expect if you're gonna do like a tie-in licensed trash. You're just gonna throw something like this on the GBA real quick. Sprite's way too big. Camera jerking and herking all over the place. Yeah, the movies. I didn't even know there were movies of this. I thought this was Rescue Rangers at first. I was like, is this a bootleg Rescue Rangers? Is this the boot like is this the version of Rescue Rangers that was in Europe? But um but you get to throw a hat. I mean, Mario Odyssey clearly stole this game mechanic. As bare bones as they come. The, the platforming is not fun. There's no real momentum. And you throw a hat, and that's it. Wow. I'm depressed. I played this and I got depressed. Don Bluth also made Anastasia. That's a cool score I got there. That's cool. Okay. That, that'll be it for that game. I don't think we need more of that game. Barbie Horse Adventures. Now, this was actually... This pack was two packs. Like the wrapper, two packs. And you have to understand, there's a lot more stuff that's not even entertaining. This is reaching weird, uncanny valleys. That horse is, a, is apparently made of chewing gum. It's... it's real weird. Why is the music like X-File? Listen. This does not sound like Barbie music. This sounds like... like conspiracy, like aliens. Yeah, like some YouTube video that has the top five most harrowing encounters before death, and that music plays. I guess we'll race. Um, find all ten flowers hidden in the village. Oh man, this, this, just looking at this hurts my face. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh boy, these controls. Vinny, is this running at full speed? It is. It says 100%. Now, Tony Hawk 2 came to the GBA and did a little bit of 3D in a way that was cool. Tony Hawk 2 had 3D Tony Hawk and a couple of other, like, minor 3D elements. And then the rest of it was like this. It was isometric and 2D. And it, it was good. It was actually good. I don't know if this is using the same engine. But this does not play like Tony Hawk. Did 
they forget that they could add, like, more than two tracks for the music? Did they forget that they could, like, compose music and not just use algo music? This is rough. I feel bad for whoever liked Barbie growing up and they got this. Man, it's not it's not easy to be a Barbie fan. I can't even imagine. I've played so many Barbie games. I'd say Barbie probably has one of the worst track records of any licensed game I've ever played. Those poor bastards that like Barbie, you, you guys got screwed over. That is a shame. This is a prime candidate for a corruption, by the way, if anyone wants to get on that for a future corruption stream. Oh my god, those are- those are people? Clones. This may be one of the worst Game Boy Advance games I've ever played. This- this probably is the worst Game Boy Advance game I've ever played. I like how the horse, like, blends into the brick wall. That's cool. Vinny, it seems functional. Yeah, you can- you, if you want, you could be the one to play it. You know what else is functional? A, a, don't worry about it. I, I was gonna say a clown serial killer, but... That doesn't make it good. Urban Yeti? Which way to the glue factory, eh? Lumpy Touch. Creator of Super Mario La La Pupa Bros. Has suggested that this horse go to the, um, the glue factory. Not my suggestion, mind you. Uh... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, I can't do this anymore. I'm good. Care Bears, the Care Quest. It's funny, I'm playing this. I care less and less. Why is there horror sound effect? This is like when Michael Myers starts stabbing. You get that noise. Care Bears, the Care Quests. I, I don't... I don't believe I played this. I don't believe... Uh, yes, Canadian is its own language, eh? It's good to have friends. Friend Bear has to match the Care Bears with the toys. Oh, it's Psycho, not... Okay, it was Psycho. The movie Psycho. It is good to have friend. Boy, I'm bad at baby games. It took me a minute to figure out that this was actually a memory game. And me not actually attempting to pull these poor animals out of their home and throw them to the fucking ground. I was like, how do I execute the throw maneuver? 
Then you look at their faces. Yeah, the faces are a little crusty. Um... I'm not very good at that video game. Funshine Bear has to find the hidden Care Bears. This bear's face is very crinkled and scummy. It looks like the... Do you remember when the Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie trailer first came out? And there was like a picture of Pikachu's face that was all like crumpled and like scummy? It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. we need is love. Love a lot bear has to make the happy star buddies meet. M-E-A-T. Boy, GBA got some real bad trash. Here I was thinking that I was like totally out of Shovelware Showcase. This is pretty much that. You may be wondering what is the difference between Shovelware Showcase and this? Well, Shovelware Showcase could be multiple systems in one night. It's also usually played on a real game console. So I tend to Shovelware Showcase, I have the physical games, I have the cases, I can break the discs. It's one of those things. Someone in chat just said, Luma, what the fuck happened to you? Poor Luma. hand. Cheer Bear has to drop rainbows on obstacles to make the Star Buddies jump. Press A to jump. <laughs> Who the fuck is eating bananas in the sky and leaving banana peels on the clouds? You think if you can fly around in, in, you know, in the sky and your home is the clouds and you have a cloud kingdom, like, you might not need to eat. I don't know. Let's play. Champ Bear plays tennis and has to hit the ball past the other Care Bear. This is, um... Well... I wonder how many games there will be. The technology to make these bears appear 3D is really blowing my mind right now. Boy, perspective is, is hard, isn't it? Also, officially confirmed, uh, Care Bear started Let's Plays. Let's play. Sweet dreams. Come. Oh, there's too many mini games. Help the Care Bears fall asleep. I don't know. Right now, I'm helping the audience fall asleep. The chat is probably like 50% in a coma, medically induced or otherwise, watching this fucking game. The sun always shines! <laughs> oh... Always look on the bright side.
I'm gonna say it, this is still better than that Barbie game. I mean, this would still be... Like... Do you know those moments where you have to, like, grow up? When you realize certain things about life? You know, when you first... Come of age... To the idea of mortality? And you learn things about the Easter Bunny... And Santy? It's like you're a Care Bears fan. Your whole life you love Care Bears. Your up until your whole life up until this point has only been six years, of course. And then someone for Christmas gives you gives you the the Care Bears game, and this is it. This is what you get. And then suddenly you realize the Care Bears don't care. It was all a lie. Children have a surprisingly high tolerance for shitty games, says someone in chat. Oh, make no mistake, I rented Lagoon three times. Or so. Lagoon was terrible. Watch a video about it. Jeremy Parrish did a good video about Lagoon. It is a really, really bad game. With some nice music and a couple good ideas, but I thought it was good. I thought I was just bad at it. I mean, I played some shitty games. I had no idea. When you're like six, you don't know what's shit. You're just like, oh, another game. That's not true, though, because now I think things are a little different. Because when I was growing up, the, the only system in town was NES for a while. And there were a lot of NES games that were good at the time that are now considered shite. Cartoon Network Speedway. I couldn't even finish that. Cartoon Network Speedway. I mean, this is... How could this be bad? It's got Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Johnny, Bra Johnny Bravo. Cow, chicken, sheep, courage, cow and chicken. And probably some, like, other characters, like Powerpuff Girls and Dexter, maybe? Oh, I know exactly how this could be shitty. Yep. It's a good thing I have a face on the left to know who I am, otherwise I wouldn't know that I'm Johnny Bravo, in fact. So thank you, Cartoon Network, for giving me the Johnny Bravo face on the left, so that I know I am, in fact, <laughs> Johnny Bravo. Poor Ed, Ed, and Eddie. You know, like how and Chicken got separated. Ed, Ed, and Eddie? No autonomy, no individuality. They have to be together at all times. It's really quite sad. You know, they never had a successful solo career like John, Paul, George, and Ringo. It was like, which one are you? I'm Ed. Yeah, I know, but which, which Ed? So, who are these characters from the outlines? Um, is this Plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie? The, the wood? Okay, um... Samurai Jack apparently is here. Perhaps. Um, I, I is this who is this? It's Pikachu. The Ass Devil. Oh, okay, yep, the Ass Devil. I remember the Ass Devil. Cow. But Cow's already in the game. So, like, uh, uh, maybe a different version of Cow. Someone just uh, hooked me up with a password to unlock everything, so I'm going to do that real quick. Mm. 
marvelous. And now I can find out. Oh, it's a uh, super cow. Ass devil, little Susie, Johnny two by four, Muriel from uh, Courage, and uh, Swanky. Where's the Where's the old man with the penis? Chin. That was Nickelodeon. I feel as if this devil's ass was heavily censored. It's a little more, like, ill-defined and amorphous than it should be. I was expecting some chunky cheeks, but nope. They, I can't believe they nerfed the ass devil's ass. It's, it's you know, it's it's a Mario Kart clone, but it, it, at at best, it's um, it's just one of those things that you play for a couple minutes and then you you you've gotten it, you you saw it. There's a charm that Mario Kart has. There's I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, Mario Kart games. Uh, Super Circuit, I never owned. I played later. It was okay. I love, you know, Mario Kart 64. I have nostalgia for the Super Nintendo one, but Super Circuit, not my tempo. So this is Dynasty Warriors on the Game Boy Color, because how the fuck is this gonna work? And finally I get to play as Goku. Dynasty? Man, there were just some game concepts that should not be applied to a Game Boy port. Vinny, it said Dynasty. Is this a bootleg? I think Nary's gonna be able to answer that question if he's still here. I cannot answer such questions. Syntax is a bootleg group. Oh yeah, that's right. When I did GBC bootlegs, it was always Syntax. Binest. <laughs> I totally missed that. I was busy looking at chat. I did not see the Binesty Warriors. I love that. Um, I hate the game, but I love that. This game is not good. Garfield. The search for Pookie. John, it's me, Guy Field. All right, so Garfield is sleeping. He wakes up in Subcon, and there are shy guys, veg vegetables, Birdo, and lots of strange creatures and things that you have to uh, then kill, like Wart, to wake up. Will you get off my foot? Sorry, ouch, my fault. Get off my foot, or I'll slug you. These are the bad guys. Oh, wait, they're stealing. They're stealing the thing. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. He'll be lost forever, and I'll be trapped in an eternal Monday. Holy fuck, Lumpy, you got some new material. Eternal Monday is a great song name. About Garfield, of course. I've always searched the whole house. Or almost searched the whole house. I'll have to go outside and continue my rescue mission. Unfortunately, I need John to open the door. Meow. Meow. 
stop that, Garfield. Your sad eyes don't work on me. All right, but first you have to catch all those mice wandering around the house. Then I'll let you go outside. Sometimes I wonder if he understands more than I think he does. There's just so many layers. Oh, this, this is truly a nightmare. It's bad. It's bad. Well, I can see, like, the JPEG crust around Garfield. Look at this shit. Look at this. No. Go back. I mean, that's, that's good. Look at that. Crust. 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 Like, if you're gonna steal a JPEG of Garfield, at least cut out the fucking thing. Don't just use that one tool. The, the, um, you know, you gotta, you gotta, like, go manually, too. The magic wand tool, yeah, yeah, I, I didn't want to say magic wand because I know that's also, like, a fucking high-powered, like, dildo vibrator. And I didn't want to give... I didn't want, uh, I didn't want my stream to get banned for mentioning it. Four hundred and thirty-four hot dogs. <laughs> Why are there four hundred and thirty-four hot hot dogs in this level? I can only blame John for what's happening in this house. Books and broken glass all over the fucking floor. Honey on the windowsills. And on the library. This is a disgusting home. I'm surprised this cat hasn't died ages ago. It's leaving hot dogs all over the place. Can cats even eat hot dogs? I mean, is it good for them? I'm sure they can, but... Stolen asset bees. Um, you know, just everything. Milk. Just leaving it all out. How, how long has that milk been out for? Hot dogs are bad for everyone, said someone in chat. I, listen, I can't deny. You have a point. This level just keeps going. Just keeps going. Does this not work? Someone said you have to do it one by one. So if you miss a mouse, then you can't get the other mouse. Like, you have to get all the mice in order. What a fun game mechanic. Even more fun is collecting 434 hot dogs. <laughs> okay. You have to drop them off at the cage. Listen, mate. There's only so much of this shit I can take. This is GBA Organizer. Which, I don't know if this ever... came out. It's like fake windows. Yeah. 
It's definitely an organizer. It's a productivity app. Um, this might be a Game Boy Color game, now that I think about it. Let me check the file. It's, um, it, no, it's GBA. It, it is GBA, believe it or not. This is what you did before phones. You, you needed to download an app. Oh wait, you needed a cartridge so that you could keep all your contacts for your cellular telephone. Um, but remember, don't break the antenna off the phone because then it won't work as well. You can even like set a password so no one can get in there and see your, uh, your notes and your dates and your calculator. This reminds me... This actually does remind me of the Dr. Evil game, because I played a while back. There's an Austin Powers and a Dr. Evil organizer for the Game Boy Color. And you could open them, and there would be calendars. My father was... he had a penchant for meat helmets. I don't remember this. There's a quote. So I liked Gumby. I grew up watching Gumby a little bit. I don't remember what Gumby, like, even really was, aside from, like, I remember Pokey, I remember Gumby, and I remember it looked cool. <laughs> With the correct frequency, super transmitter capable of, so tired having to walk over there and push that, still have to fix those little astrobots a little time. Someone in chat just said this guy looks like fucking John Lovitz. I know at least half of you know who John Lovitz is. It looks like Mr. Potato Head, John Lovitz, and Larry David got mashed into, like, some kind of weird fucking blender. Prickle? Did it say prickle? Stand aside, people. Extra toasty bun, anyone? Okay, so like everyone is here, all of the Gumby characters, and then these lads show up. Is Gumby still around? Like, do they still make new Gumby product? No. They would if they could. There's gonna be a Gumby revival, trust me. It's gonna be a Gumby Cinematic Universe at some point. Speaking of, I watched the, uh, the Rocket Man trailer, and the first comment, the, <laughs> the highest rated comment was, at, after the credits of the Rocket Man movie, Freddie Mercury shows up, and he says, um, I'm starting a... Oh, fuck, what was the quote? It was so good. He goes, bam up! No, it was, it was... Well, wait, let me just check that out. That was loud. You can see what volume I'm operating at. Freddie Mercury says, hello, darling. I'm putting together a team at the end credits of the Elton John movie. And then the Bowie movie. Freddie and Elton show up. <laughs> And 
and then they form some kind of squad. But trust me, they're gonna try to reboot this at some point. They will try. But I guess the reason Gumby isn't around anymore is because P Gumby just wasn't making the big bucks like he used to. I love it when the jump noise is louder than anything else in the game, or in the room I'm in. Am I missing something here? Oh, I guess I have to push it. Even in Oracle of Seasons, I keep forgetting that I can push the trampolines. Very specific jump. The camera going mental. The camera is not very conducive to uh, jumping and landing on, on uh, enemies' heads. Gumby is currently being remade. No franchise must die. All franchise must live. Make product, consume product, make new product. If product fail, reboot. Well, you get to be a ball. I was just about to complain that they don't take advantage of Gumby's clay. of every other licensed low-effort GBA game. Big sprites, the camera, uh, you know, the character looks like the character. Um, just awkward platforming, and just boring. Just run-of-the-mill Zool, Zool-esque platforming. It's not too bad. It's playable. Um, if I got this for Christmas and I had no other games, I'd, I'd play it. Um, if I was a huge Gumby fan, I'd play it, and I'd probably enjoy some of it. So, pretty painfully mediocre. Um, the worst part is the way the camera whips around, though. I'm not really feeling that, but of... Of course, this is, this is what happens when you... ...have a licensed game and you need to make a platformer. Alright, thanks, Gumby. See you during the remake when you get a grimdark... ...realistic Gumby... ...cinematic universe. Razorback Developments, Hot Wheels Stunt Track Challenge. You want speed? You want danger? You want action? And welcome to Stunt Track Challenge. The show has got it all. I'm your host, Ryan Storm. The rules of the show are simple. Beat the opposition in every stunt challenge and race over six exciting episodes. Only one contestant can drive away with the title of Stunt Track Challenge Champion. Only one contestant can win the ultimate prize, the Hot Wheels Gold Car. Think you've got what it takes? Well, let's buckle up and find out because it's Flavor Town. More or less just my um, Guy Fieri voice. Hey, it's time to go to an age of monsters, to an age of danger. Get ready for the Jurassic Jam! Okay, can- oh, alright. Boy, they really, really... ...are very stingy- oh god, no. Oh no, oh what? wow. Whoa, wait a minute. This is kinda cool. Kinda cool for Game Boy Advance. It runs pretty well. It's not pre-rendered. It's, um... Wow. It's... I was expecting shit. Whoa, that was great! Now on to the next challenge. Uh, does it control well? Um, I 
I don't know yet. It might. I mean, it gets a little slow here and there, but for the most part, this is pretty competent. And with a fairly impressive 3D engine for GBA, maybe one of the best I've seen. My only real complaint is that that R barrel move sounds like a fart. And that this course is ripped directly from Diddy Kong Racing. I am shocked that this game looks this good and runs this well. And it plays pretty well, too. Now, I'm trying to figure out what the boost button is. Yeah, you could do stunts. Um, you gotta be careful, though. Also, the vehicles are 3D models as well, which is... Kind of surprising. I mean, even the Mario Kart game on the GBA didn't have this level of 3D. It was just it was just like a Mode 7 kind of thing. And meanwhile, here this thing is running with not bad frame rates. Not the best, but not too bad. Pretty good draw distance. And it plays well, and it looks good. What the fuck? Nari, did you sneak this in knowing it was good? I mean, there's no textures, aside from the cars. There were two Hot Wheels games and I deleted the wrong one. <laughs> well, that explains it. No, I, I'd rather have... I'd rather have a decent game here and there. It's kind of nice to take a break from the trash for a second and appreciate a developer that actually put some time and attention and care into their game. Um, if it had items, like a cart racer, I'd be more into it. It also doesn't have drifting the same way Mario Kart does. Like, I, li I like the way Mario Kart Super Circuit plays a little bit more, because it has that Mario Kart drifting stuff. But this is still great. So, hell yeah, we got a loop and everything. Fucking hell. It does have items, just not this level. Wow. Well, okay, that's that's an impressive game. E A Cock. It's in your ass. What is this music? It's very 2005. And not at all what I'd expect when I think football. Them teams. Well, I don't even like football. I don't really have any particular preference. But I'm just gonna play for the New York home team because that why not? I uh, I don't really even know. But yeah, I feel like the uh, audio was a little too crusty and too muffled to get claimed. Um oh man, this is cool. This is a cool concept for a football game. It's football, but you have to play during an earthquake. That's exciting. <laughs> 
I think it's football. I think what's happening is football. I'm pretty sure it is. But I don't believe I'm controlling it. Shaking is invisible on hardware. Damn, I was hoping that it was. I was hoping that this game was exactly like this. Can you guess who my character was? That's right, Jerry Peppers, Brian Peppers' brother. What a play. First down. What play? There was no play. Oh, because I ran over the line of demarcation, right? That's a that's a football term, right? I'm in deep! Throw me the ball! I'm ready! Yeah! I'm in deep! Throw me the ball! First down. Okay, we're going to do the old Rusty Bucket Bay. I'm ready for it. Throw me the ball! I want it! Let's score a field goal! Home run! Football! <laughs> okay, now this one, um, they were, you know, Nary and Sphinx were discussing... And it looks kind of cool. Hundreds of years ago, the land was rich and beautiful, and and there were stuff and people, and there was a, a wizard. And uh, then someone picked up a sword, and then they decided to fight and save the world. Mazes of fate. Oh, you can make a custom character, that's cool. I mean, there's only three portraits. Let's just use a pre-made character, shall we? One-handed weapon, parry, strength, and all that fun stuff, okay. My name is number one. Number one! Welcome to the Big Tuna Tavern. There's, there's some crust here, but for as impressive as this game may be... Big Tuna. So wait, Big Tuna is Jim from The Office, isn't it? So it's a dungeon crawler, it's, it's first person, and um... Rockian. I have to talk to the Master Warrior. Okay, hang on a second. Master Warrior. I think the Master Warrior is going to give me a key. Um, Tuna sent me... I just want to get in there, and I want to get a key, and I want to go in there. That's all. I have to consult with the uh, Elder Gods, of course. I will point to the location on the map. Cool. That's the old lady's house. What happened? That's weird. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? 
Walked right into that Imperial ambush. How'd that happen? Yo, they ported Skyrim to the Game Boy? I was waiting for a good opportunity. That wasn't the best opportunity, but I tried. Vinny, go left. Aw, oh, man, I just want to fight. I know which way I have to go. God damn it. Talk to Granny Cream. Here to help you, Master Warrior. It wants me to take care of the rats. Oh, okay, good. All right, so this is the like the tutorial rat level. So at least I can see what this game is. Okay, weird controls, but I'm getting it. They had to make do. <sighs> Combat's a little, a little rough. Charlie, you gotta kill the rats, Charlie. A nice attempt. It's a little trashy, but it's not too bad. I mean, for what they're going for, they almost succeeded. Yeah, I mean, if it's Babby's first dungeon crawler, someone could enjoy that. Um, Monster Trucks is next. From Majesco. A name I've not heard in a long time. Monster Trucks. I feel like I may have played this. Oh, boy. I... This is how you don't do 3D on GBA. First of all, let's get the volume down. Vinny, you played a Majesco game like a half hour ago. Before that, it was a name I'd not heard in a long time. Oh, these- are these voxels? <laughs> oh, God, these frame rates. The controls are almost as bad as the frame rates. At least the guitar is mental. Uh, it's a slideshow. Someone said, why don't the tires spin? They spent all their graphics on the, um... On the little hills, on the ramps. Sorry. Sorry, too much graphics in use. Yeah, it appears to be voxels, and... Maybe not the best choice. Sure, the graphics actually do look... Like, the hills look smooth, but if you're gonna get these smooth hills and sacrifice frame rates, you may as well just not get smooth hills. I don't understand how... Wow. Wow. Do you have the time? To listen to me whine! It's not even that, it was just a similar chord structure, but not really.
Pitfall, the Mayan Adventure. I had this game on the Super Nintendo. Remember when I was saying that kids um, earlier on in the stream, you just don't know better. Kids don't know better. You just play a lot of shitty games because you just think they're game. Every game is created equal. Well, I had this game on the Super Nintendo, which was probably the better version of it. And I liked it because it was kind of like Indiana Jones. Oh man, they had to really sacrifice those graphics. What the fuck kind of texture is that? One of the things that this game was famous for was its visuals. And how, like, smooth and fluid the animations were. And this kind of looks like a Commodore 64 game, but up -resed. The animations are nice. But yeah, I played this. The Super Nintendo version was pretty okay. It wasn't the best game in my library, but I still liked it. My main issue was when you'd like try to whip things and then it would um it would miss because the pixels had to be perfect. And then like the enemies would yeah, like that, like the enemies just bum rush you. It's like fuck off. I guess, um, with graphics this good, they had to sacrifice the music. What? Why does he sound like that? Why does he sound like a, like a chipmunk bab? Just, uh, whacking the little monkey fella. That's all. It's fun. This is a- uh, this is a weird case, because this is a port of a game that came out ten years prior. Which also had a PC version, if I'm not mistaken. Which, in and of itself, wasn't the most amazing game, but had some memorable moments and was- was pretty cool. And, uh, it's a nice attempt, but also, it's- it's also like, why? Also, the screen real estate doesn't, like, the resolution is not helping, because this is a game with big, chunky characters, and, you know, y you usually take damage before you even know there's something there. I mean, again, camera whipping, it, you get whiplash just looking at the game, and then uh, a monkey will throw its feces at you, and then you're dead. And then fuck you. But, um... So much has to be sacrificed. As I've said before on Sunday streams and many other streams, I'm very interested in ports. I like to see an inferior console get a port that actually ends up pretty good. And I like seeing what was cut. I like to see what sacrifices had to be made. I think it's... I don't know, it's just interesting to me for some reason. But this is... this is just not that great. And it's also a very hard game. I remember it took me a long fucking time to finally beat Pitfall. A very, very long time. Pocket Protector, Quick Notes, Volume 1. Who's this lad? can learn everything. So why did I choose 1800 to 1825? I just watched the movie Master and Commander, and it takes place 1805 during the N Napoleonic Wars, and it was interesting, and I was hoping there would be some mention of Russell Crowe's character. Turns out he wasn't real. That's a shame. Um, Alessandro Volta, precursor to the Mars Volta, Now, here we go. Here's some Napoleon stuff.
it's just like cliff notes. It really is just like, you know, history abridged. Why not get a book? Because it makes you learn because it's on your video game system. Look at all the history. World War II. There's a ton of history. But, I mean, again, it's, 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 it's so truncated. What the fuck are you going to learn from this in any detail? Nothing. Well, maybe. Hang on. Famous musicians. Let's see. <laughs> Gershwin. Um, you know, Bach, Beethoven, Lennon, John. Mozart, Strauss, Wagner. I, I can't believe they put John Lennon in there. He <laughs> All right. Visual artists. This is a fascinating look at history. Uh, Harry Houdini. <laughs> Santa Claus is in the same category as Houdini and <laughs> fucking Johnny Appleseed. It turns out he was real. Hyperlink. Mathematics, science, U.S. government. Computer basics. An operating system. Um, so programs like Windows 98, 98 and OS 2 were created to serve a common platform. We don't have the space to cover everything the operating system does, especially when you consider it's really the operating system BIOS. I like how they could just copy select um, bits from an encyclopedia and not have to develop a game. And no GBA slash GBA uh, C stream would be complete without some bootleg Pokemon. <laughs> Even the music. I know where this was developed based on the music alone. Stage one. Huge ball bag fuck. Why is Pikachu red? When they clearly use the yellow for other assets. What is that asset? I don't remember there being like a Grim Reaper in Pokemon like that. It hurts. What the fuck is a melody? Just jam as many notes down the player's throat as possible. Wow, I didn't even move. I did not stop moving. I stopped pressing right, and Pikachu still moved. Also, those look like things from Mega Man. Am I fighting, like, Mega Man X sprites? I'm pretty sure they just ripped those from Mega Man... Um, the Game Boy ports of Mega Man X. Or whatever Mega Man game. This music is actually rearranging the the theta waves in my brain. I don't even know what that means. Skulls? What, what region is this? Also, Pikachu walks upright. Why not? Am I 
collecting cheeseburgers? I don't know. Oh, Pokeballs, I think. I feel like I'm losing myself. Like, I, I don't even appear to be taking damage. The enemies don't hurt. There are no rules. Nobody knows the rules. Oh wow, I had a lightning move that whole time. Level end in a soft lock. What an astounding night tonight. That Billy Corgon really had a, a good... a neat idea when he said tonight... tonight. So this is wrestling video game on Game Boy. Nice, we got Steve Austin. The Rock. Uh, what, what are these stats on the bottom? I don't know what those stats are. Is that their, like, lifeline? Is that their heartbeat? Triple H, Undertaker, Kurt Angle, Kane, Chris Jericho, Chris Benoit. Oh, oh. Oh. Billy Gunn, Rikishi, Edge. Christian. <laughs> Bubba Ray Dud I don't know who most of these guys are, if I can be honest. Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, Bradshaw, Farouk, what a name. Eddie Guerrero, Raven, Taz, another good name. Hardcore Holly. <laughs> who the fuck are these people? I didn't watch a lot of wrestling. Oh my god, what the fuck is this cutscene? <laughs> why why is, is Vince McMahon making faces at me? Oh my god, and the middies are great too. They actually got the voice. That that's him. That looks just like him. That's him. <laughs> this intro. Like, I kind of want to show this to The Rock now. Like, he's a big movie star and everything. I want to show him this game, his intro, and his sprite. Be like, dude, this is- this is- you put your name on this. You agreed to this. Your contract allowed this. You could just kick a guy in the balls over and over and over again. And probably win. I mean, there's no way his balls exist anymore. They're paste. They're just pa it's nut paste at this point. Am I even winning? Objectives unclear. Kick the man's balls into paste. All 
I'm leaving. I'm out. Where's the chair? Give me a chair. Give me... Draw, huh? You're gonna tell me the man whose testicles no longer exist? That's a tie? I just want to check out a couple more intros. Steve Austin and Triple H. I never understood. Like, I was not watching wrestling at the time that this was happening, and, and I never understood why people liked this stuff. It wasn't until years later that I finally kind of got the entertainment value out of it, but I like I would see this man's face and see Austin 316 and everyone was losing their shit over this guy, and I'm like, wh who is this guy? Start game. H-H-H. Start game. H-Triple-H. H H H start game triple H H H H Fight. You know it also took me years to figure out that the 316 thing was a reference to the Bible because I'm a dumb It's not a reference to the Bible? Wait, what is it then? What- what does the Stone Cold 316 mean? It's how fast he beat someone? Oh. Well, I'm still a big dumb then. The Undertaker's gotta have a good one. Vinny, it is a reference to the Bible. It isn't a reference to the Bible. It is. I don't- I no longer care. Boy, this man had a large neck. They- they tried so hard to get intros into the Game Boy game. They tried. Fight. <laughs> it's just- it's a couple pictures, some words, and a flashing light or two, and that's good. That's all you get. Good enough. Holy fuck. Couple games left. And then, we're not gonna have time for getting weird with it, but I got something else that you might enjoy. That I will be able to show you. So, next week, we'll do getting weird with it. It's a good one, too. Hey guys. Hey. Angeliker. Acrobats? You know, I'll tell you something about acrobats. Acrobats? Worse than mimes. So you can't back out of a minigame. Once you're in a minigame, you're stuck there.
Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say acrobat? I meant aquabats. Aquabats are worse than mimes. Someone just said, dude, fuck you, Aquabats are awesome. Is that, that's the hill you want to die on? Well, guess what? I'm going to die on that hill, too. Fuck Aquabats. I've never heard a single song. I've not heard any of their music, ever. I just remembered, there were- years ago, there was someone who made, like, this big post about how Aquabats upset them, and they couldn't see anything related to Aquabats, because it would make them, like, really, really, like, angry and upset. Yep. And it was- it was funny to the point where I'm like, what the fuck is an Aquabat? Is this like- it's a- it's like an animal? It's like a bat that- that swims? And then I found out it was just some meme band that apparently people seem to really like. I don't- I've never heard their music. Meme? It's a ska band, but okay. So it's a ska band and not a meme ga uh, ba uh, band. Same thing. As I said the other night, ska in about 20 years is going to be considered classic rock, so... So the Aquabats will be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame soon enough. This is a horrible collection of minigames. Barely has anything to do with Rugrats. <laughs> it's, it's really, it's, this is the same game as before. Oh. God, this is bad. All right. Vinny, you are upsetting much of the chat. If me saying bad things about the Aquabats and Ska, in a joking fashion, is enough to upset someone, then I mean, you're just gonna have to deal with that unpleasant feeling. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Like Zoink Scoop, I'm in a shitty GBA game! Oh, already? The graphics rock, Grammy! Hotel guest. Yep, that looks like a Scooby-Doo character. Why do the characters look like Gumby? Like Skoinks, boob! I saw Fred run in the opposite direction. What's he doing here? Is if that even is Fred? Oh, it's the movie Scooby Doo. Oh, okay, it's it's movie Doo. The Moopies. It's the Moopies. Follow that grub! Shaggy's legs are just like polygons. It, it, his whole fucking body is just polygons, but no, like... What a weird visual style. Okay, finally I get to play the game. I don't think I want to play this game now that we've been through all that. Poor GBA. So many great games on the GBA. And yet, tonight we choose to remember it. 
with a game like this. So you, you talk to guests, you collect things, you solve puzzles. It's just a very unappealing game. It's very unappealing. Best thing I could say about it. Yep. Yeah, people are saying in chat that um, that's Vinny. That's me. This guy's me. You guys really don't know what I look like, do you? That's she says from Boundary Break. Um, Sega Smash Pack? No, this is not Smash Brothers. But I want to get through some of these very quickly so we can get to the last game because it looks like it's going to be worth it. Oh my god. Alright, we know, Sega. So it's three games. Echo the Dolphin, Golden Axe, and Sonic Spinball. Thanks. That's closer than I've ever needed to be to that dolphin. Yep, this works on a screen this small, sure. What- what's even happening? Echo deserved better. I can't tell if that was a glitch or that was supposed to happen. I genuinely don't know what happened. I was that the alien abduction? I Echo's great, but this port is miserable. That was supposed to happen. That's why it was included in the collection. Um... if I want to play the rest of them in the Sonic Sega collection. Uh... Just do Sonic. Yeah, I'll just do the Sonic Spinball, which is fine, because I played Sonic Spinball on the Game Gear before I sold the system and bought drugs with it at the tender age of nine. <laughs> well... One part of that story wasn't true, but I did sell my, my game gear. Wow, that's a scummy looking Sonic. Too bad! Like, I don't know if this is the same game that I... 
that I had, because I, I had a... How? Oh. I had Sonic Spin Ball, I just don't, I don't remember it. I was upset it wasn't a real Sonic game. It's just a spin-off. It's pretty faithful to the Genesis version, it's just running poorly. Cool. That's where I want to be, I want to be down there. Die and listen, listen to the options music. Player one is stopped. Vinny, you, but wouldn't you not care if it wasn't a spin-off or not since you hated mainline Sonic at that point? I was like eight. I didn't know how to hate. I knew that I was upset because I didn't have it. But if I had a Sonic game, I would have enjoyed it. So, options menu. This isn't... there's no music here. They removed it? Alright, well, I'm just gonna find it on YouTube because I need to hear what this sounds like. People are making a big deal out of this. Um, Sonic Spinball options music is the first result. That is the first result you get. Ew. Shrek fairy tale game from Venom. I think it's a, a hacked version of it. Fairy tale freakdown. Man, it's weird that I'm like after all this time, I'm still finding Shrek games that I haven't played. Because I've played a lot of motherfucking Shrek games at this point. Oh, this is a fighting game? I played a fighting game version of Shrek at some point. Oof. Oh god, this is bad. Vinny, you have played this one? I don't know if I played the GBC version. I, maybe I did. I, I don't know. Shrek is very powerful. His double leg kick is unstoppable. Not even Pinocchio could stop him. <laughs> that sprite. Oh my god, this is so bad. This is so bad. I don't know if there are moves. Oh man, we got someone who can zone. Oh, you cheap asshole. You cheap asshole, I say, as I defeated my previous opponents by pressing one button repeatedly. Cool game! Cool fucking game! Super Panda! What the fuck is this? This is the last game. Panda World, Stage 1.
Are these not Mega Man graphics? That are vibrating? At an intense rate? Okay, there's some corruption crusts. I am not attempting to corrupt this. I... I... I died? Um... So it's Mega Man. And yeah, your jar can, you know, the jar kills you. I... I am very confused. Um, but yeah, obviously it's a bootleg. Blizzard Man stage from Mega Man 6. Yeah, I've used these tiles in Mega Maker. <laughs> oh god, you know, I've had enough. Alright, that is the, uh, GB trash. Game Boy trash, we'll call it. Doesn't matter. That was fun. That was terrible. That was also fun, though. And, uh, good collection of games. Quality games, some good laughs, and also Gumby. Gumby was there. Interesting. GBT? Gumby ball torch? 